This is Eric of Spark E Studio, and welcome to my video on how to see your footage in Windows as well as your thumbnails for your footage if you're recording in H265422. And here's what happens when we try to open that 422H65 encoded file. It just doesn't work. Now, if you do 420, you should at least be able to play your video footage in Windows through downloading some software that you have to pay for. All the software I'm showing in this video is completely 100% free. You're welcome. Now, I wanna show you a couple different things. There are two different programs for viewing your footage. One is better than the other. I'll leave the personal preference to you. Now, let's start with VLC Player. First step is to search VLC Player. You wanna go down to Download and click on that. From there, we just simply click Download VLC Player. Just nice and simple, and it will download momentarily. Once downloaded, we can now click on it. It'll automatically extract and install. Right-click the video file, go down to Properties, and Open With. We're gonna change that. We're gonna go to VLC Media Player. Click OK once you select it, and apply the setting. Now we can actually open our video file and we see that went blank for a moment. And when we move our mouse around, you'll notice it keeps on going missing whenever I go over top of the video file as well. So it makes it very much a pain to do anything with this player compared to some other ones as you'd expect. Now let's open this up full screen and I can show you what happens when we get to the end of the played file which we'll see it simply stops the video playback, the player's still open. With VLC player, you might have noticed that my mouse cursor disappeared and uh, also there's a bit of flickering. So if I wanna do something else and I'm moving the footage around on the video screen, it's not quite perfect. It's okay, definitely better than nothing, that's for sure, and it's easy to install and easy to download. Now the other program I wanna show you is MPV player and this one, is a little more complicated to install. First step is to search MPV player. Next, go to the website and scroll down to installation. Once there, we see we have installation for Windows, Mac OS, source code, Linux packages, mobile platforms, and other platforms. In my case, I have Windows 10, so I'm going here, and I'm gonna download the 64-bit V3 file and it will automatically download after five seconds. And if that wasn't already complicated enough, you'll have to use a program to extract those compressed files. Here's MPV player, and if I open it, it shows this. My files themselves don't autoplay. We still get the same error, so again, we're going to right click, go down to properties, and change with open with. My MPV player is only here because I previously attached it to the files. Some of you might have to find your download folder. I see it's right here, so I'm gonna choose that one. I'm gonna open with that file, click apply, and okay. Now we have the video file playing and we can move it around screen, not a problem at all. Let's make it full screen. Not quite full screen, oh right here. There we go, that's full screen. Let's reduce it so we can move it around the screen and see what happens. So let's do some resizing. Perfect, no glitches. And let's see what happens when we go to the end of the video. Well, what's gonna happen is the video player closes. One thing that separates MPV versus VLC is the fact that VLC will stay open after the video is fully played. MPV closes down completely. I'll leave that preference to you. Now, how about those thumbnails? Well, those thumbnails, we're gonna be downloading a program called Icarus. First step is to look up Icarus, that is I-C-A-R-O-S from Video Help. When on the site, we can scroll down and we'll see a version for Windows and a download for portable or other versions. I'm using Windows, so I'm gonna download that one. Installation is as simple as clicking on the file, Choose your language, click OK, click Accept, and Next, and follow the instructions. Activate thumbnailing. 
you may want to choose video only because you don't need the thumbnails on other files. Now we can also choose static or dynamic. And if you choose dynamic, that is the one best for caching all new files. Then close the program. And if your thumbnails don't show up right away, just simply restart your computer. Feel free to like and subscribe and help this channel grow so we can all work together for a better life in film and video. This is Eric of Sparky Studio. Thanks for watching and have yourselves a most wonderful day.